Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Stadium in Tallahassee, proud home of the Florida State Seminoles since 1950. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Florida State has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Barnes fields it at the 7. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 45. The Mountaineers offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He makes his way out to about the 25. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Inside the 10, slings it, and that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled around the five-yard line. Fires incomplete. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. And they get nice yardage on that run. Roberts gains about five yards on the run. That brings us fourth and goal. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call there. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Three down, three down. They're packed in tight on the line. Set, set, set. Run, 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 run. Brought down at the one. Second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Throws it in a hurry. 
He's tackled around the 20-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From their own 20-yard line, first down. He's out to the 30, makes it to the 31. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. He scrambles. Tackle right around the 36 yard line. That's good to have Second and five. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 41. Right. Picks up around five yards with that catch, and that'll keep the chain gang moving. Now, this is a good job by the wide receiver of making sure he was beyond the first down marker and then hanging on to that pass. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. goes at the 16. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. And here's another third down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. We played one. No score here. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Florida State is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Sooners arrived today, ranked number seven. Their steady climb in the polls, they hope, will continue today. The Roadrunners keep pounding away on the ground, and they find pay dirt. The Sooners are out front, 14-7. Well, we've seen some big upsets, and that one would measure right up with the best of them.
Holloway has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Barnes from the five. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game and four yards. That makes it second and six. Gets to about the 47 yard line. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offensive coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. First down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made at the 17. That'll make it second and inches. Defense has had two stops already down here. And he's hit immediately. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Stop behind the line. Open receiver, no good. This is the ninth play of this drive. complete he's got room to work and he's tackled at the five so it's fourth down they'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot West Virginia is looking to tie things up kicks away and he got it let's get an update now here's Reese Davis Reese time to get you up to date from Eugene and for Oregon they're having all kinds of trouble so far the Badgers are on top, 7-3. 3-3 game here. Glover ready to kick. Fielded at the 9. They'll bring him down at the 32. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's flushed and they got it. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. scrambling <laughs> to be successful you've got to be able to come through on third down and that's just what they did with that big run from their own 48 yard line it's first down Ready. 
Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Scrambling around. Slides down. Weaver gets three yards on that scramble. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it fourth and four. Moore takes it to the 14. He's tackled at the 20. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Catches it, and he's punished. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Third down. Gets to about the 27-yard line. We played a half of football. 3-3 tie. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works and it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs and you can hold them great Reese on first down second down it's third and long you're in a perfect situation you give up that one play for 80 and it changes the whole complexion of the game so I think you got to have a little bit of both it can't just be great defense the whole time usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some ash or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. Gathered in at the six. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clip it. Receiving TT. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. 
You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He fights forward to about the 16. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 16-yard line, it's second down. Draw play, taken down in the backfield. Loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws and it's incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Maxi to punt. Moore fields at the 44. Brought down at the 28. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That's a team four. That makes it seven and six. Three down, three down. They'll spread the field with five wide. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Is one for the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. Big stop by the defense. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Down, right around the 30. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. Now he's going to run and watch out. Dives for extra yardage. Seaburn it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Let's go! Ground 50! Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 46. Seven-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. 
Maxi is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 25. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Gets out to around the 35. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Mike 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming, Mike, Mike. Tackle after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Tight right, tight right. Pull it down, pull it down. Back 22, back 22. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 43-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Set, set, rain on, the ball. Up, 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 up. on the pitch, look out, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. It didn't really seem to me that anybody on this offense really knew where that option was going. Fortunately for them, they were able to hang on to the ball. From their own 40 yard line, second down. So at the end of three, and this one's not enough at three. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Picked up by the defense. That's a great tackle at the 26. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 27. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Can't get away from the pressure. And for Tally, he's now gotten to the quarterback twice. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Six yards to the end zone. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. 
that makes this third and goal. Roger, Roger. Hey, check flag 47. Check flag 47. They're crowding the line. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. He makes the PAT. So that's a five play, 26 yard drive and a touchdown as a result. Florida State ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. The Mountaineers have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Zips it left. That close to being intercepted. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 25-yard line, second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and two. Short pass, middle of the field. He's taken down right around the 40. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle made the 37-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it third and three. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Mike 22, Mike 22. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he is drilled at the 22 yard line. That makes it second and six. Tight end right. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. And he hauls it in. Big play there. And now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Brought down just outside the goal line. This is the 11th play of this drive. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Mountaineers.
Penalty markers one. down. They took too much time. Offense. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Glover has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You look up at the clock, Herbie, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. you got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Complete. He's got room. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From their own 39-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Slings it out there incomplete. Huggins was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. Under a minute left. Slings it. Tackle around the 30-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 21. Come on. Check 26, check 26. Let's go! Red 18! Red 18! I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Makes it out to about the 13. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. There's the timeout we were all expecting. Kick is up. And he's got it. Game over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. So this one goes final. A hard fought, close game. 13-10, FSU. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.